hits the record button and the battery starts flashing. Good thing I thought ahead and I'm charging more batteries. Yes, I'm gonna take my shoes off, get comfortable. A lot of people have asked me about toys for pigs. Uh, how to keep bored pigs entertained. First thing I wanna say, pigs are very smart and require a lot of interaction and socializing and attention. They don't necessarily require a lot of playtime per se, uh, nothing like a dog or a cat. They're usually pretty happy to just kind of sleep. But every once in a while, your pig will want to get into something, cause some mischief, be a little more active, or perhaps your pig is so lazy that you need to find ways to entice them to be more active perhaps to drop a few pounds, for instance. So I have a bunch of toys, some of which I have tried out in the past and can recommend, they've worked well for me. And some of them are just the really commonly suggested pig toys that I will be testing out. This does mean that my pigs are getting their Christmas presents early, but uh, it might give some of you other pig owners some last minute pig Christmas gift ideas. Also, before I get into this video, I did want to talk about a couple of pig companies. Now, full disclosure here, I reached out to these companies myself on behalf of all of my pig owning followers because they offer things that I think are fantastic. And I just asked if they would be interested in offering some kind of discount for all of you. I'm not making any money off of this. It's not a sponsorship, anything like that. They're just products that I really enjoy and they're companies that really are taking care of pigs, looking out for pigs, supporting adoption, supporting education. So they're just really good companies and they're really great products. So I'll go over that uh, just real quick here and then probably down the road at more length if anyone's interested. One of them I've mentioned before and that's Sharp's Little Pig Town. I finally got it right. And they offer an alternative diet to the commercial processed pellets. Now I always advocate for doing a natural or raw diet, but not only is that a little bit of a challenge and requires pretty extensive knowledge uh, to make sure that your pig is getting all the nutrition that they need, but it can also be expensive and it just doesn't fit into everybody's lifestyle. So I know a lot of people still have to feed pig pellets and instead of doing those overprocessed ones, they offer a fantastic alternative. It's still very easy. You order it online, you can get it on Amazon even, or if you go through their website, you can sign up for auto ship, which is fantastic because then you don't even have to think about it. <laughs> With the discount codes that they gave me, which I will have all linked down below in addition to their website. So the first discount code, Adri First, will give you 10% off of your first order. And then if you do sign up for auto ship, you can enter the discount code Adri Rochelle and get 5% off auto ship prices. So I've been using it a couple of times a week, basically mixing it into my routine of the natural and raw food because I do really like the ingredients that much. And my pigs have loved it as well. That's the first thing I wanted to share with you. The other is Oink Box. So if you've heard of the dog boxes, bark box, things like that, there is a company doing one specifically for pigs, which is very exciting. So you get it every month and it comes with all sorts of things. They're really excited about it. Too. They're literally just laying here, fighting over like who gets the middle spot because it's the warmest. Uh, so these boxes can include everything from toys, treats, blankets, back scratchers. Pigs love that. All different things and even pig products for the pig loving owner. I signed up for it and I will be sharing my oink boxes with you on a regular basis. You can sign up there and if you use the discount code ADRI15, you can get 15% off your first box if you sign up for either a six or 12 month plan. And they're really affordable. Uh, I think it's $24 a month. And actually, I believe the first box even includes one of the toys that I'm about to share with you. So it's really fun. What's wonderful about both of these companies, they're pig lovers and they both do a lot just to support the pig community in general. So I feel great supporting companies that do that. Moving on, I just was really excited that both of them agreed to offer something to all of you. Now, let's go into the toys that we have. I've talked about this one before, the rooting mat. This is a great option if you are looking for an affordable gift because you can make it yourself. Uh, you need a sink mat, plastic mat, and a, a bunch of fleece. 
and a few hours to spend cutting this up. What you do with this, pigs love to root, it's just a natural instinct for them. So you sprinkle some treats in this and then they will just spend a ton of time rooting through it. Or if you are doing pellets or Sharp's Little Pig Town food, you can sprinkle that in here and it'll help slow them down while they're eating as well. If you don't wanna make one, uh, they do sell them on Amazon or I know there's some other pig companies out there that make them as well. This kind of cleans their noses too. Although, they just had a bath. Finally, you're seeing clean pigs. So they could probably use a much larger one actually. Another one that I have been using for a long time is the IQ balls. Now, normally these are advertised for dogs or puppies and they come in different sizes and different difficulties. What you do with these is put treats or again, their food inside it and they have to roll it around to get the food to come out from one side, make its way through the holes and then come out the other end where they can eat it. This is a wonderful option if you're trying to get your pig to exercise more. You put their meal in here and they have to move around and they will. Once they realize what's in there, they will spend hours chasing this thing around. This, now I went with the large one. They do have a smaller option. Um, but this again is advertised as a dog toy and it's kind of the same concept. Uh, they have to bounce it around uh, and it keeps boinging back up for the treats to fall out. So it doesn't have them walking around as much, which depending on where you're at, your area, you may not want them going all over the place, but you just want to either keep them busy for a little while or slow down uh, how fast they're eating their food. So this works, it just stays in place. This is one, it's obviously new. I haven't tried it yet but I know a lot of pig parents rave about this, so we'll see if they like it. Uh, so with this, you can adjust how wide the little opening is, how easily the treats fall out. Oh, okay, well, it's too wide. All of them just fell out. Darn it. Found these on Amazon. I was a little skeptical. They're called lick mats. So these are rubber mats. Uh, they're food grade, non-toxic, all of that. And you spread stuff with dogs. It suggests yogurt or peanut butter. I was planning on doing um, either the Greek yogurt or I give them a little bit of coconut oil and I feel like just kind of putting a light smear of coconut oil on this would keep them busy for a long time. So let me take it out of this. There's two different sizes. And I guess my concern was that the grooves aren't that deep. So I'm a little concerned that it won't actually keep them busy for that long, but it had fantastic reviews. Uh, so I might be wrong, we're gonna find out. And then there's this one, which is supposed to be made for larger dogs. Okay. Now these. Very skeptical, but we will see. So I just have some coconut oil, which they love, and it's good for their skin. Oh, she's still over here pushing this. I suppose that's quite noisy, and I don't think there's anything left in it, love. And then there's a whole assortment of dog puzzles, basically, treat dispensing puzzles. 
uh, which are phenomenal for pigs because pigs being as smart as they are kind of enjoy that challenge too, stimulating their brain. Um, so I just picked out this one and I have a ton more that I would like to buy them if this one goes over well. And they have different levels so if you think your pig is a genius you could get one that's a little harder. If um, your pig's intelligence is questionable. You could get one of the easier puzzles. The only thing I will say, uh, they have some all wood puzzles. And at first I loved that design. But the more I thought about it, it seems like it might be really hard to keep clean since pigs aren't necessarily known for having the cleanest snouts. So we're going to be learning how to do this together. Okay. So this one, you would put treats like under these and under this. Uh, so they would have to flip this up and the treats under there. And then over here, you put treats in these and they have to scoot this around. So it's all different things they have to do. And I almost feel like pigs would enjoy this more than dogs in some cases because pigs use their snout for so much stuff. So knocking these over, flipping them around, all of that uh, would probably be a lot of fun for them. and then she stole them. Oh, he's coming in to open it for you. Look at that, you're so smart. You did it, and you got the treat this time. You did the push, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. You're just opening those like crazy. Oh. Did you get it? I don't even know. Bree's been over there trying to open the bag. So she's, yeah, she's probably the smartest one. And then, of course, beds. In particular, beds like this. They make them huge too. So no matter what size your pig is, you can find a bag that'll work. They love these snuggle sack beds. So they have this one. Mine also love their heated blanket. So I would strongly suggest getting one of those for your pig. The ball pit, which I've shown in one of my other videos, is a great idea too. I just have that quick pop-up tent uh, ball pit. And if they seem really restless or energetic one day, I will pop it open, put the balls in, and sprinkle their food in there. And then they go nuts. You can also make uh, your own rooting box out of either um, rocks or some kind of uh, clean soil. It just really helps satisfy that rooting instinct. I set this down and didn't even have time to start recording before she was already in it. I'm a little concerned. They like to sleep in really close quarters, but honestly, I would say she is very pleased. And they're just in there rooting away. If any pig owners out there have some other recommendations for pig toys and entertainment, or just pig presents for when you wanna spoil your pig. Tell me all about it in the comments. I clearly love to buy things for my pigs. <laughs>